Hello everyone, my name is Blake and welcome back to To The Moon. Now it looks like we have... Oh! We need one more. Ah, there's the memento, okay. So we have four of these to shoot. Perhaps River. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Ah, and that was the last one. So it appears our memento is ready. Time to prepare the memento. Everyone's favorite part. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, this looks easy. Probably that. This. This. And this. Bam! I don't even have to edit that. Alright. Activate memento. Yes. Hopefully you guys can see me. It's... Sun's going down here, so it's rather dark. Getting a little bit younger. Isabel. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really... there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to f have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I, I both envy and pity River. Me... I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh. I've never, never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Alright. Oh, the music is so good. Very, very good. Hello. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Hello? Are you a memory ball? Are any of you? 
Doesn't seem so. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it when it was a, as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. Ooh, grab a hand. Wow. That changed everything. I'm starting to wonder if maybe uh, River is autistic. Just from the description that they're giving. I'm not yours, you're not mine. By, be my anti-Valentine. Hey River, this one's not that corny. River? Talk to River? It doesn't look like we can. Ah, the grabby hand. Yes. And they've teleported. Give me your memory balls. Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Holy shit. Ah, the memento. Do we need to speak to John here? Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. Ah, uh, what? So that's probably something I need to know? Okay. Or is it? What is that arbitrary list? But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh! Do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um... Shit. Marco Gorilla, Cassie Wolf. Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. I'm gonna forget that so fast. Oh, it's Cobra. Isn't it? David Cobra? Cobra. Oh yeah, a Cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Can't say I'm entirely good at memorizing arbitrary things like that. Ah. Memento. Oh my god, I said a hiccup. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, 
Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Five moves. I got it. I just had to stare at it for ten minutes, but I did get it. Alright. And I believe... Okay, she's just repeating the same list. How does she know all that? Received note. Animorphs. Activate Memento. I believe we have nothing more to do here. So let's go ahead and activate this memento and travel further back in time. Are we at a picnic? Oh, wow. We're finally when he's like a teenager, it looks like. Oh, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. Seems to happen to you at a lot of parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. What do we have here? An aged Animorphs book. A glass bottle of pickled olives. I see le fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. All right, hunting for memory balls. Let's see what we can find here. I don't understand what is with the uh, grayed out people. It must just be like uh, missing information from these memories. That's all I could assume. Patches that aren't quite filled in. And they might get filled in by finding more memory links. Where exactly do we need to go here? Let's see if going up here can yield any any links. There is a place to go up here. Oh wow. Is that River? Is that John? Wow, John's looking awfully young if that's him. That definitely looks like a younger river. But we're not allowed to interact with him. What is this? Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean... No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. I think River and John just got married. We're still not really sure where Anya comes from. Did she just make that up? Or is there some kind of significance behind that name? Ah... This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Ah, they're dancing in the lighthouse. How touching. Ow, my ass! I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. And they danced the night away. Or perhaps that was just a transition, I'm not sure. Hmm. 
to promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. And I light up Blake's face with an all-white screen. Ah, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting off, putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to you, just take it moment by moment. Okay, so now, back to the funnest part of the game, finding memory balls. Get out of my way, I've got balls to find. Sometimes I feel bad talking over the music, because it is very good. Ah, this has changed. They're down here. Are they eating some wedding cake? Let's talk to this bloke. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ah, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Received note, Joey. Actually, let's take a moment here to look at these notes. Anya, the abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. Clock, the clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Moon, objective, the moon in Johnny's memory is... Full? I think it says full, that's a strange F. Pickled olives, Johnny's favorite. That's, that is an F, it's a very weird F. Acrophobia, something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Animorphs, Johnny's favorite childhood books. And Joey, Johnny's nickname, named after his grandfather. Of course, we have our patient monitors. We can see that he's doing fine. John is. Key to the basement door, toy platypus. We don't know what really that is. And our paper rabbits. All right. Oh, don't want to exit the game, just the menu. Oh. No, wait, we can talk to her. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm so proud of Joey. Oh, that's all she has to say. Well, that was uneventful. So, we need one more memory ball. And I'm guessing... I have no idea. It might be from going down here, because, yeah, we didn't explore down here, so it's probably down here. Wow. 
Wow, so many cars. This place is packed. Ah, there he is. John's down here. Oh, no. This doesn't look good. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a... Rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. And there's the last one. Come on, River, we're late. Let's see what River has to say. She has nothing to say. Oh, that is the memento! It's a good thing I didn't leave that. Received a note. Dead rabbit. Let's go ahead and check out our notes so we don't let them pile up again. A roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. Which may be the source of all these rabbits all along. It would make sense. Alright. Time to prepare another memento. Looks easy to me. You just do this, this, and then this. Bam! I don't even have to edit that one either. Activate memento. Yes. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the memento is roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but I think he's on the right track. It's definitely something that- oh my god, the truck ran it over again. Wow, now we're going back to when he's a little boy. Poor thing, what's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator. Get away from here already. Just bring this up once again. It looks like we're getting very far back. John's now, I would say, probably a teenager at this point. Can I just hop over this? No, I can't. They're just, they're going on their own. Apparently, ah, I see. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so glad I can't die because that would have been it. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. <laughs> oh my god. Hiya! Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap! Well, that can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there, help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. Received note Dr. Neil Watts. Well, we're Dr. Rosalind now. It looks like we have to help Neil out of his interesting situation here. Now, where did he go? Ah, there he is. Oh, well, it's River. That's River and John. They've known each other for a very long time. Where is Dr. Watts? Oh, is that him? Is he invisible? Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. 
Ah, ah! River! What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! Huh. I wonder if Neil got off of that horse yet. Yeah! <laughs> He's on backwards. This is about 19% more than I can handle! What a moron. Oh, what the corn cob? Ah! Ooh! Old space to gallop. Oh my! Yes! I gotta ride horses. Well, isn't this wonderful? Hey, it's, it's Dr. Watts. What is he doing? Oh, hey, I'm getting memory balls from this. Make sure we explore everything on our horse here. Well, isn't this wonderful? Much faster, too. No WASD, though, still. Rest in peace, WASD. Rest in peace. So I think... Probably supposed to do something else on here. Probably not going here. What is it that I need to do? Ah, I need to ride through them. Come back here. Come back here, damn it. Give me your balls. Give me your balls. Give me your balls, god damn it. Bring those balls back here. God damn it, I'm stuck. How'd I get stuck? I'm literally stuck. Oh, there we go. Where do they go? Ah, shit. I get stuck on everything. You don't have any balls? There's Neil. Thanks! Ow. Okay, so we rescued Dr. Watts. That's good. Do you have any balls for me? I think I need, like, another ball. Would be good. Come here, River. God damn it. Get over here. Don't you have any balls? Let's find John. I bet John's got a pair of balls for us. Oh! Ah, there's the memento. Oh, I can shoot him with the horse. Isn't that wonderful? Ah, that's all of them. I see, I already had all the balls. There were no more balls to get. Let's prepare the memento. Ideal four. Wow, that looks pretty weird. Let me think about this for a moment. Okay, I think diagonal might actually help here. I hope, it'll turn that off, turn this on, turn that, yeah, that should be perfect. Okay, so diagonal, then this one, then this one, and then this one. I am the master. Kind of. Sometimes. Alright, so I think that's all we need to do here. They're happily riding their horses. Not giving a fuck. Oh, there's John. John, I found you! Do you have anything else for me? He's pretty fast on those horses. I caught him and nothing happened, so it looks like we're ready to activate the next memento here. Let us do so. Now how far back are we? Pretty much about the same. Not much changed. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. That looks like a headless doctor. 
Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This is one by Tony Adwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd... I'd rather not. And why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Well, and I already got a memory ball for taking two steps. It's getting very dark here. I'm not sure if my face is even illuminated much anymore, but thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this episode here. It looks like it's been just about enough time. Um, we are finally about to find out, well, probably going to find out, really, what is going on with River, because it appears we were at the doctor's office when she got her diagnosis. So that is rather interesting, and we'll hopefully find out in the next episode. And until then, I'll see you later. Bye!